Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing will chlorophyll improve belly bloat and versus chlorella. So definitely I have my favorite and you're gonna see in just a second which camp I'm more on in terms of helping to improve digestion and improving that belly bloat as well as having that detoxification aspect in terms of getting those toxins out of our body. And often when we're wanting to improve digestion, or we're wanting to improve that gas and bloating, it often has a component of toxicity. And that's why chlorophyll and chlorella both have benefits in this department to improve digestion and improving that bloating. One of the main features of chlorophyll and chlorella is that it actually helps to detoxify and that's one of the reasons that it actually is working to help with digestive processes is that it can trap things like heavy metal toxins and that's why I tend to prefer the chlorella a little bit more so I'm going to take sides. I prefer, prefer the chlorella a little bit more because not only does chlorella contain the chlorophyll, chlorophyll is chlorophyll and we get it from Medicago sativa is one of the most most common extractions of it, which is alfalfa to get that chlorophyll but chlorella is a blue-green algae and it has a lot of other accessory nutrients and that's why I tend to lean more towards the chlorella myself and tend to take more of the chlorella in terms of taking it as a supplement so the because it is a blue-green algae it has that ability to trap these heavy metal toxins so things like mercury as well as things that we're exposed to in our environment so aluminum it could be in our beauty products, it could be in, you know, aluminum foil, it could be in deodorants and antiperspirants. So doing whatever we can to limit our exposure to these heavy metals is really important. But doing a full body detox at least a few times a year and including something like the chlorella is really important. So we'll share some links below to, you know, a great way to do this. But yeah, that's why I recommend we always want to stay ahead of this toxicity. And using something like chlorella can be a really great way to trap some of those heavy metal toxins. Now some of the other accessory nutrients that chlorella has over the chlorophyll would be vitamin B12 as well as iron. It also contains natural vitamin C in that whole food form. It also has some important minerals so things like magnesium, zinc, copper, potassium, calcium as well. It also does have naturally occurring folate and some other B vitamins as well. It also has a little bit of omega-3s which is a natural anti-inflammatory fat which of course is very important for overall health and inflammation and it has a bit of protein as well and that's why you know because of all those added benefits of taking the chlorella that's why I like it a little bit more than that chlorophyll. Chlorophyll can also be synthetically made and this would be called chlorophyllin. So something definitely you want to look for on the labels if you are taking a chlorophyll supplement. So if you do choose to take either chlorophyll or chlorella, one of the things you want to look for is make sure that that product doesn't have any preservatives, that there's no added fillers and potassium sorbate would be one of those things to sort of look for on the label. You also want to ensure that it's free of heavy metal toxins because of that trapping ability of these nutrients to do that. So making sure that you're buying from a reputable company that's done that testing to make sure that it is free of those toxins. And that's really important for you to know. So I hope that you learned something new. If you're taking chlorella or chlorophyll, I would love to hear from you. Please do leave it in the comments below. Also be sure to share this video with someone that you know will benefit from this information. And if you've got a question as well, I would love to hear from you. Also give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your great feedback. And if you're new to my channel, welcome Welcome in. I hope that you're going to subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell so that you always get notified of my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.